So what's a very low margin company going to do? I'm not talking about millionaire businesses, not Porsche dealerships, not even, say, a very high-end steak restaurant. But what about the leanest businesses around, like, like a dollar store? You ever been in a dollar store? It's a place where an item can cost literally a dollar. And that dollar, imagine buying something for a dollar. That dollar has to pay for the item itself, plus the rent of the building and the staff and all the other costs, the taxes, insurance, lawyers, whatever. And maybe there'll be a few pennies left over at the end of the day for the company that went to all the effort to make it happen and invested in the whole plan. So, so what's a Dollarama going to do with these minimum wage hikes? If you have five or ten staff in a store, I mean, cashiers, people stocking the shelves, maybe the security guard catching shoplifters, maybe the shift manager. So now you're jacking up Dollarama's cost by what? Maybe 50 bucks an hour? 10 hours a day? I'm just guessing the math here. So, so you might need $500 more per day just to be the same as you were before. Uh, I don't even talk about payroll taxes and other benefits the companies have to pay. $500 a day more you have to ring out of a store. That is a lot of $1 crayon packs, a lot of $2 cans of tuna. And I'm, I'm just talking about the margin. I mean, what does Dollarama make off every dollar pack of crayons? Do they make 10 cents maybe? So how much do they have to sell to profit an extra $500 more a day? Do they have to sell 5,000 bucks more of like crayons and party favors? $10,000 more to wring out $500 more profit just to keep Kathleen Wynne and Rachel Notley's promises. I don't know enough about Dollarama's business margins, but I do know this. Dollarama knows this will kill them. So look at this. Take a look. Dollarama is getting rid of staff. They're getting self-checkout stations. And that's the thing. Minimum wage hikes are great if you can hold on to your job. You get 15 bucks an hour for doing the same thing you're getting 12 bucks an hour for now. If you keep your job. If you keep getting as many hours a week. So it can work if you're lucky. Or I guess you could get zero dollars an hour if you're fired or laid off. That's an excerpt from my daily TV show, The Ezra Levant Show. Normally it's behind a paywall, but I thought you'd like this video, so we put it on YouTube. Uh, if you want to subscribe to watch The Daily Show every day, including always two interviews a day and I read my hate mail, just click on this screen and become a premium member.